welcome back to my channel my name is danielle and i'm the owner and creator of the aid salt it is my handmade small business where i make scrunchies and keychains i also sell hair claws and makeup hair clips and hair accessory type products in today's video we will be packing for our upcoming markets this weekend and i'll also be taking you guys along with me to the markets and filming my setups and seeing if i can get any footage during the market or across both of the days it's friday today and i have a two-day market scheduled for saturday and sunday so we will be going through and sorting our market stock we will be swapping out our summer rain scrunchies for our winter collection that I have already made in one of our market prep vlogs. We'll also be sorting through our makeup hair clips, which I had available in last weekend's market. And I actually sold a couple of those. So we'll be sorting through them, seeing what's sold and then topping them up. We'll also be making room for our toweling scrunchies, which I recently made in one of our market prep videos as well. This particular market I have traded at before a couple times in the past. However, I've only ever traded on one of the days. So it'll be my first time packing for both of those days. The organizers of this particular market, I attend and trade at almost all of their markets both their regular ones and their much larger seasonal events as well. So I kind of have an idea of what to expect in terms of foot traffic. However, I always like to be prepared when packing for these two day markets, as I generally leave all my market stock there in my car and don't really have an opportunity to top it up on Saturday evening for the Sunday market. I have traded at many two-day markets over the years. However, they've all been much larger seasonal markets with about 100 to 150 storeholders and a lot of foot traffic. My first ever market was actually one of those two-day markets. Um, however, this particular market, it is a smaller indoor market with about 45 storeholders and it is a regular market held monthly. So I don't want to go too crazy with the amount of stock that I'll be packing for this market. Even though I like to keep my market display full, if a few items are sold, it will still, my display will still look substantial. However, I do want to be prepared and make sure I do have enough stock in case I need to top it up during the market or if I need enough stock for the Saturday trade as well. So with all of that being said, I'm going to start bringing out all of my market stock, so my scrunchie baskets and my containers with the Excel scrunchies and my other market products and we will get into sorting them and topping them up.
winter range. I've just swapped out all the summer ones for the winter ones that we made. Um, and then put some floral summer ones in this smaller basket in case people still wanted some um, color for the winter. So that's these done and then we're going to get sorting the extra larges.
most of our market stock packed and ready to go for tomorrow. I have packed for our full display, well, our full display now, which is this medium pegboard and two larger pegboards, which are our main ones for our Excel scrunchies. I used to have four pegboards, including this smaller one here, which I now use as my utilities pegboard. So I've reduced our market display down to the three pegboards, which is still more than enough for these two-day markets. I usually only have our full display for the larger seasonal markets. However, for this two-day markets, I will be bringing out our full display. I have a, another container like these ones with all our market utilities. So the rest of our market bags and our hooks for the pegboards and our tablecloths and a few things like that, which I need to still grab out of this room here, along with our other pegboards, my chair and trolley, which I will be needing for tomorrow's market. As it is an indoor market, I don't need to pack our gazebo or any sidewalls, so we should be good to go with those. I've gone ahead and sorted through the scrunchie baskets off camera. They didn't really need topping up, so I just fixed them up and rearranged them as they got a little messy from last week's market. So there's four of the large ones there and then four of the smaller ones here as well. So they're all ready to go. But I need to get these downstairs and packed into the car. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for the market setup. My bumping is at 7 a.m. So I'll see you all then.
bag from day one at the market. Um, I wasn't able to film any of the pack up of any of my pack up at the market. So it was the very busy time as all the storeholders were um, packing up their stores and their display at the same time because it is an indoor market with other retailers there there was still a lot of patrons walking about and shopping at those retailers so it was very busy and i wasn't able to film the pack up however i was able to leave all my market stock there at the market they, the market themselves, they did have a storage room um, which held a lot of the overflow of the market furniture and we were able to leave our market stock there. It was actually very conveniently right next to my stall. It was about two, literally two steps away from my stall. So very rare to find any space in that storeroom to hold your market stock there overnight but because i was so close as i was packing up my stall as i filled up each box i was just putting it into the storeroom and then packing up the next box and then stacking that in the storeroom as well so that worked out really well i'm not sure if i got any footage of that but i'll definitely see if i can film that tomorrow morning while i'm taking it out and setting up the stall again i usually pack down completely my whole stall setup for any two-day market that i do i usually completely pack down and take all my stock with me because they have all been outdoor markets so it was nice to be able to semi-pack down and leave my stock there and not have to load my car and i won't have to worry about unloading it tomorrow morning either in terms of the market it was a lot quieter than usual um, i was speaking with my neighboring storeholder and pro tip for anyone who is attending or planning on attending markets Definitely make friends with your storeholder neighbor or neighbors if you have one on each side. Particularly if you are trading at markets on your own like I am and you see your neighboring storeholder also there on their own. Definitely make friends with them. You become instant besties on the day um, and you be able to help each other out on the day as well. Anyway, I was speaking with her and a few other storeholders trading there um, today and they all mentioned that the Saturday trade is not as busy as the Sunday trade. So we will see what it is like tomorrow. I'll be taking another time lapse of the day as well so we can get a sense and you can get a sense of the foot traffic that is coming through the market. I actually just got back from the shops and went to buy some more attachments for the pegboard which holds our makeup hair clips. The attachments I bought for this pegboard here, the leftovers actually for this, I used on the pegboard and they worked really well. However, I didn't have enough of either to fit all my products. So I went and bought a few spares. I bought some extra hooks and some extra um, S hooks. I bought a pack of each, which will be enough to um, fill out our display with the remainder of the attachments from this utilities board. I will be taking you guys along with me tomorrow morning as well to film my setup. So we'll be unpackaging those and using them tomorrow morning. Another tip for you all, if you are a market trader or again attending to um, trade at markets, your market display will always be a work in progress. I have been attending markets since the beginning of February last year and I have attended a lot and a lot of markets since I trade at two to three markets every week since February last year and I still adjust and change and improve 
my marker display so don't worry if you don't get it right at the first attempt it's always something you will be working on with that being said i still need to get a few things packed for tomorrow's market which i will be doing off camera and i need to get them packed into my marker bag um, such as the new hooks and things that i bought I'll be taking you guys along with me tomorrow as well for the Sunday trade. As I was able to leave my stock there, I won't need to unload my car. So I will be arriving a little later than I did today. But I'll still see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for day two for our setup. Day two.
back from day two of the market. I have just finished unloading my car and bringing everything up. I always completely unload my car after weekend of markets and bring it up. So I spend the whole week going through the market stock and getting it all ready for the following week's markets. So that is all done now. I did today at the market actually meet a Australian TV personality. If you guys are from Australia, you may know Johnson from Big Brother. He was the runner up of Big Brother AU last year in 2020. And he was at the market today with a group of people. He actually noticed my time-lapse video and started a conversation, started talking to me about it. So if you're watching, hi, uh, yes, it is a time-lapse video and yes, you are somewhat in the video. I went through the footage and noticed I actually kind of blocked the video while he was there when I was standing and fixing my display, but I'll insert a clip of of him here he is the one in the season green jumper so that was definitely an eventful part of today in terms of trading at the market it was a somewhat okay trading day and quieter than the saturday trade than yesterday's trade as some of the storeholders mentioned to me but still an okay somewhat semi-successful trading day what did make it better though was that two scoop of Messina ice cream that I got. The line for the Messina ice cream was really, really, really long and there was a lot of people waiting in line. However, that did not stop me from lining up to get the ice cream. I could somewhat see my stall and my display from where I was standing in the line so that was okay but i will definitely be getting the ice cream again when i am there next time because that was oh my god that was anyways enough about the ice cream i wasn't able again to film my pack up because it is a very busy time at the market because everyone does pack down their stalls at the same time and because at that particular venue there are other retailers there and there was still a lot of patrons there was a whole crowd of patrons there which were shopping at the retailers at that time i'm not sure if they were getting some last minute groceries um, for the work week or whatnot but it was a very busy time in terms of patron foot traffic at the pack up so it was very difficult to film that is the end of this video thank you all for coming along with me to the two-day market i hope you guys enjoyed the footage that i was able to get and the footage of me setting up my stall across both days. Our next video, we will be sewing up and making some of our first scrunchies. They are part of our winter stock, our winter range. It is winter here in Sydney, Australia, where I am. So we definitely want to be stocked up on those as I am running low on them. I do still have about five-ish left which will be enough for next weekend's trade. However, we do need to top them up for the following week. So we will be sewing some up next week. They are one of our popular items. I display them at the top of our pegboards with the rest of our kids' scrunchies. So whenever the kids see them, they run up to the stand and grab them if they can reach them because they are on the top. So we definitely want to have some prepped and ready for our um, upcoming markets. So we will be doing that in our next studio vlog. So make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. So you get a notification for when I upload that video. And I'll see you all in the next one.